You have to wonder if, politically at least, Donald Trump is indestructible. The former president is currently facing four criminal trials. There are 91 charges against him and the very real threat of jail time. On top of that, last week he was ordered to pay more than $120 million in damages to a woman he defamed. For anyone else, any one of these setbacks would mean political death. But not Donald Trump, who just gets stronger, louder and more belligerent, and more likely to make a triumphant return to the White House. So what's his secret to turning scandal into success? Welcome. Hey, guys. Come on in. Colorado Springs is a deeply conservative patch of America's Southwest. I'm so glad you're able to get here, April. These passionate Republicans have gathered for lunch with a hefty side of patriotism. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. If Trump doesn't get the nomination, who's, who's the next best option? We're about to find out why they're so determined to return Donald Trump to the White House, despite unprecedented, almost unfathomable circumstances. A lot of people will talk about, oh, he's so vulgar and all oh, the things he says. And, you know, my answer to that is you don't have to date him, right? He's, he's a bulldog, but he's a bulldog for us. This is a man who's facing 91 criminal charges. That doesn't concern you? Nope. Not a bit. Why not? Because it's, it's a bunch of baloney. At least that's how I see it. God bless America. As chair of the local Republicans, Vicki Tonkins is using her voice to rally the troops and motivate the community to get to the polls. What do you think the key issues are for voters here? I think the biggest thing right now, I think, is the border. It may be second or neck and neck with the economy because everything has gone up under the Biden administration. And it's been hard for a lot of people. So you think life was much better under Donald Trump? Absolutely. He lost the last election to Joe Biden. Well, that's a question that a lot of us are still asking. I'm not buying it. Well, I never have. The votes were counted. Were they? Frankly, we did win this election. It's an almost unbelievable case of deja vu. The outrageous, belligerent Donald Trump... This is a fraud on the American public. ...is headed for a rematch of the 2020 election with Joe Biden, the oldest US president in history. But this time around, Donald Trump's campaign stage is the courtroom where he's fighting close to 100 criminal charges which could land him in jail. So there is nothing in your constitution to restrict Donald Trump from running for president, even if he's convicted? No, hard to imagine, right? For years, Michael Cohen served as Donald Trump's personal attorney, fixer and enforcer. When we meet him on New York's exclusive Park Avenue, Trump's old playground, he's appalled at the possibility his old boss could get a second chance in the White House. With your lawyer hat on, how is it possible that he can potentially be convicted and continue his campaign? Because <laughs> the Constitution of the United States of America does not prohibit a felon or um, somebody who is actually an in inmate from being president of the United States of America. So therefore the White House will become whatever the federal correctional institution that he is currently remanded to. So he could, in this country legally, be sentenced to jail time in the coming months. Yes. And continue his campaign and even continue on to become president. Yes. That's absurd. Because our founding fathers never contemplated a scenario anything even remotely close to something like this. 
The 77-year-old is facing four criminal trials and a total of 91 indictments. They relate to his attempts to overturn the result of the 2020 election. Election interference in the state of Georgia, falsifying business records in New York and mishandling classified documents after leaving the White House. President Donald J. Trump. But if Donald Trump is feeling the heat, he's not showing it. Donald Trump is our first rock star superhero president. At a rally in the swing state of New Hampshire, the former president is on the warpath with the same old artillery. The radical left Democrats rigged the presidential election of 2020 and we're not going to allow them to rig the presidential election of 2024. He's convinced his supporters the charges against him are a political witch hunt by Joe Biden and the Democrats. He always says, Donald Trump is a threat. <laughs> He's a threat to democracy, that's right, that's right. MAGA, MAGA, we've got to stop MAGA. What does MAGA mean, Joe? Uh, These rallies are always Donald quite a show, but what is truly Donald remarkable this time around is we're watching a man who is facing dozens of criminal charges and possible jail time, and yet no one here could care less. What is it about Donald Trump that makes so many Americans look past his flaws and his faults? It's like he casts a spell. I mean, he's a cult leader. He does want to make himself into a king. Because I'm being indicted for you, and never forget, our enemies want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. I will never let that happen. This is where one of those criminal trials will play out the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. Here, Donald Trump will defend charges of plotting to overturn the 2020 election result, culminating on January 6, three years ago, when just a few hundred metres from here, he encouraged his supporters to march on the Capitol building. I was there that day and it was frightening, like a scene from a Civil War movie. How could anybody enjoy an attack on the people's house? And the answer is because they were doing it in his name. Mm. They were carrying the Trump 2020 flag and they were screaming and attacking people in his honour. Once a prominent and extremely wealthy businessman and lawyer, Michael Cohen paid the ultimate price for doing Trump's legal dirty work, ending up in jail for paying hush money to conceal his boss's alleged affairs. There's no doubt he has a personal axe to grind, but Cohen knows better than anyone how easy it is to succumb to Donald Trump's unique combination of charisma and thuggery. So are Trump voters nuts? Or is Donald Trump nuts and they're drinking the Kool-Aid? Oh, it's both. I mean, I think Donald Trump has, again, become the worst version of himself imaginable, and that includes losing it. The things that he's saying, the racist, sexist, misogynistic, the xenophobic, homophobic, Islamophobic, anti-Semitic rant that this man is spewing on a day-to-day -day basis, the divisiveness that he's creating in this country is only being parroted by his MAGA supporters. So can you separate out Donald Trump's insanity to their insanity? And the answer is no. How is it that the man you've just described, also twice impeached, is on the cusp of getting the party's nomination? Mind-blowing, mind head-scratching, any other adjective that you care to insert there, do so. Nobody else in the history of this country who even had one-tenth of the issue that Donald Trump is currently facing could actually be a nominee for one of our major parties. But quite apart from Trump's megalomania, there's another major concern for voters 
on both sides. This time around, age is on the ballot. And the fact that we have two of the oldest presidential candidates who a great majority of Americans say are not their top choice is indeed shocking.